Lieutenant Kirk Fistick. Um, obviously a lieutenant. Um, I've been on board for two years. I'm the operations officer. I think that the uh, the ship's design is a reflection of our crew. Um, the cool thing about a cushionet, if you ever get an opportunity, anybody has an opportunity to walk around a cushionet. Uh, it, it's very um, it, in newer ships. You know, you go okay. This is a this is a operator space. This is where the bridge guys do stuff, and this is where the engineers do stuff. You walk around a cushionet. Next thing you know, you're in the engine room, or you're in the galley, or you're um, in someone's birthing area. There's, it's not very well defined. Um, so that leads to a, a crew that is very close, um, that works really well together, that um, are willing to do um, one minute a guy will be changing oils in an engine, the next minute he'll be a boarding team member, um, <clears throat> and the next minute he might be l helping loading stores. On newer ships it's not really uh, like that. People are more defined into where they are. Um, so I think that's a special thing about a Kushnet, um, is that we are are very close as a crew. Um, we support each other's mission. Um, you know, we have we we can field uh, four boarding teams since we, since we are experts in Alaska. We, we we can put a lot of people on deck and get a lot of a lot of stuff done, which is I wouldn't say abnormal. I mean, other cutters can do it, but we're definitely pretty good at it. Um, so it's a pretty tight crew, a lot of tradition. Um, you know, people will kind of not laugh it off or or you know think it's hokey, but people really do care deeply for the ship and, and tradition and um, making her presentable. So I, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's neat. It's a small crew, very, very close to one another, um, and, you know, out there to do the mission that taxpayers want us to do. And we do it, I think, do it pretty well. So. Hey, uh, I'm EM1, Adam Rogerson. Been on board for five years and uh, part of the electrical division on board, responsible for maintaining a very old diesel electric system. Overall, just the camaraderie that is built off a boat such as this. Uh, when you take something this rough and then send us out in the middle of the bearing for months on end, and then uh, with all the challenges we face trying to keep the boat running, it's just all you have to rely on is each other out there. And uh, you can't find a stronger unit of shipmates anywhere. And that's, that's the, what good comes from having old boats like this around. Is it, makes us rely on each other.